In this week's video, I'm going to go over some art styles that I could not get to consistently work in previous versions of Mid Journey. That's all changed in Mid Journey version 5.2. Now these styles work and I'm pretty excited. All right, let's get into it. All right, this first style is hydro dipping. I don't, you, if you're on YouTube, if you're on TikTok, any of these, uh, video platforms, you've probably seen people do this where they put paint, um, spray paint, something like that. That's, that's lighter than water. And they, 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 um, have a, a bucket, a container and they spray paint and, and make these patterns on the surface of the water. And the paint is, I guess, lighter than the water. So it stays on the surface. And then they come and they take an object and they dip it in it and get these really cool designs applied to the surface of it. I've seen them do sneakers, jeans, refrigerators, all different sorts of things. Um, it's a really cool technique, but haven't been able to get it to work in mid journey until now. And, uh, I mean, it's an interesting interpretation. It's not exactly, it's not like the woman was hydro dipped, but it's really interesting how it interprets it. And it really has the feel of what people have been doing with hydro dipping. So here is a woman uh, in the style of hydro dip. Here's a man. Tell me that's not creepy. Look at those eyes. Anyway, he looks like he was hydro dipped. That's pretty cool. Very cool design. Looks like he's being hydro dipped. Uh, she's right. That's disgusting. Anyway, there is a uh, hydro dip uh, cheeseburger. Oh, look at that. There's a watermark in there. Come on, mid journey. Motorcycle, motorcycle hydro dipped. That is pretty cool. Not exactly the hydro dipping uh, style or not style uh, look to it. It's more of a hand painted look, but it's got the same um, color palette that you would expect from hydro dipping. Usually the, uh, when they hydro dip uh, items, it's very bright, vibrant, sometimes clashing. So you can really tell where the 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 textures uh, pop from. Here's a tree hydro dip. So this one is very muted. Um, not crazy about it, but the reason I included it was uh, I haven't seen this in a while in Mid Journey. Is I'm starting to get this repeating um, fine texture in the foliage, and not really thrilled about that because it just makes it look ugh, very frustrating um, but I included that I don't see it often and it did just kind of pop up it's like there's this underlying fine repetitive texture uh not crazy about it but I wanted to include it just to to kind of point it out how <laughs> look at this this gives me the vibes of Edward Scissorhands I mean it's it's just this and I, I don't know why it's it doesn't have that mid-century vibe to it it's it's obviously this vibrant hydro dipped melting house with very organic shapes to it on this very dull drab landscape that is i don't want to say desolate but it's just it's depressing it's a depressing landscape it's um but you have this very it was it was like at one time somebody tried really hard to create something beautiful and 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 vibrant on this landscape and it didn't work it's fallen into disrepair and very interesting, interesting stories that, that you can kind of pull from these mid journey images, but I'm really excited about this. Okay. So this is hydro dipping a house or house in the style of hydro dip. All right, let's get on to the next one. All right. This next style is really cool. I'm really excited about this one. This one is in the style of shattered. <laughs> Look at this image. Are you kidding me? This is a woman in the style of shattered and a super simple prompt with a just, just very impactful image. This is a woman. I mean, take a look at that. Take a look at the detail. I mean, it's almost gruesome with the red underneath the, the skin, but this, when I was first trying to run it in previous, um, mid journey versions, I was getting more of the action of shatter and not a shattered person. So this is just very cool. I love it. A woman in the style of shattered. There's a man. So with the uh, masculine of this, you know, it kind of took it and made it more of an illustrative 
look, um, you know, this could be used in so many different ways. And I mean, what a, what a cool, what cool imagery, Oop, the cheeseburger. Now I'm not sure about shatter. This looks more exploded, but I'll take it. I guess if a cheeseburger was about to shatter, I guess it would be like this because it's not hard. It's soft. It, I, I guess it's a shattered cheeseburger. Looks messy and good though. A motorcycle. Look at how cool that is. You got the pieces coming off, but there's also a shattered texture across the body and uh, across, across the fenders and everything. I think that's pretty cool. Reminds me of my old motorcycle. Mine, well, at one point it was shattered, but that's a story and it's a tree. Now that's pretty cool. It's illustrative, you know, it has that shattered texture, shattered texture across the tree, across the ground beautiful use of the color palette with the teals and the oranges and really limiting the oranges to the uh to the foliage of the tree uh, i i find that just very powerful and it even puts birds in there so that's a tree shattered house i mean look at that i mean that is i like it because it feels like vermont it feels like vermont in the fall uh dilapidated old building but it's dilapidated in a way that is shattered. And uh, did my voice just crack? Anyway, very cool. I love these trees in the back. You know, you have a uh, nice uh, low angled light on them, autumn colors, but there's also atmosphere in there. And uh, the way on the other side of the image, you have this warmer atmosphere, like this cool atmospheric fog. This is warmer atmospheric fog that's lit up by probably sunrise looks looks like a sunrise thing it's just very cool it's i mid journey is just hitting it out of the park this stuff is just stunning a landscape shattered i mean this is cool it reminds me of there were paintings uh in the craftsman era of 1920s and 30s uh where they kind of made these geometrical shapes and then shaded inside of it but they were also continuous tone of across the start so this the surface of the sky is like these pinks and yellows and while you have the pinks and yellows across the whole sky then you have them broken up into these little geometric pattern really interesting stuff but definitely reminds me of of the craftsman era illustration and uh beautiful it's just beautiful work and you know the the complementary coloring just stunning all right that is shattered. Really excited about that one. Okay, this next one I have struggled with for a long time. And it's in the style of barcodes. Uh, we all know those barcodes that, that go on everything and all the stores. And that way the scanners can read it and tell the price and keep track of inventory and all this. So uh, in the style of barcodes. And here is a woman in the style of barcode. And, you know, pretty straightforward, you know, linear pattern lines uh across her and i gotta say like I'm, I'm not crazy about this it doesn't while it works and everything it's almost not implemented did it, it it's not married well together um but it's interesting and i like how one eye is is uh removed from the barcode code pattern here's a man look at that it's a man in the style of a barcode and it's a three-dimensional barcode that is just wow that is cool and you know exactly what it is it's and it's got the hair got the ear um but then the rest of it is just this this three-dimensional barcode style i i just find that fascinating cheeseburger now this one's interesting now if you pay attention this is almost like sheet music in a way sheet music that was one i couldn't get to work should have tried that one Anyway, we've got the, the vertical lines to represent the barcode, but then the cheese also follows the, that vertical line. Um, very interesting that, that Midjourney is kind of marrying the, the two elements in that way, and uh, I, I like it a lot. It's, uh, so this is a cheeseburger in the style of barcode motorcycle. That is just cool. I mean, look at that. I mean, this could be a social uh, statement easily creating things out of barcodes and our our need for consumerism and how that's grown over the past few decades. And But I won't get into that. 
anyway, here's a motorcycle in the style of barcode and uh, very cool how it divided it up and, you know, kept the silhouette, but built the barcode into it. Tree. Now that is really cool how the ground really represents a barcode. And then you got these other codes and, you know, it's all, you know, you just get this feeling of the, the world we're in where we're scanning everything and everything needs to be tracked and all this and but then it's um juxtaposition against the natural world of the tree very very cool i like this illustration this is a tree in the style of barcode a house look at that i mean it's almost like the barcode is creating the atmospheric perspective and it's lit and um and along the barcode is lit in the same way that the the house with the um, soft pools of lighting across it. You're also finding those soft pools of lighting across the barcode. And, you know, that makes for a very impressive image. Oh my God, there's a fly in my studio. Trees. Now look at this. The, the trunks of the trees make up the barcode and they're continued into the reflection and the reflection breaks it up. I mean, how does it know to do that? I don't get it. But... There you go. That's this is, oh, this is a landscape. Landscape in did I say tree? This is a landscape in in the style of barcode, and uh, stunning, just stunning work. All right, that's barcode. All right, thanks for joining me in exploring some new art styles within Midjourney 5.2. Um, I am super psyched that uh, Midjourney is getting to the point where it can consistently grasp these abstract uh ideas and um you know that shattered one just blows me away anyway uh if you could do me a favor and like this video comment below tell me uh which one's your favorite or tell me what ones you've come up with like what are, what are you using that is just out there and and using as an art style i'd love to hear it also if you could subscribe to the channel that would be great it's really helping out it's, uh, you know, I can't believe we almost got a thousand subscribers. That's crazy, crazy, but I love this. Anyway, all right, until next week, see ya.